Hello, right, this time we have got a massive sound bar, a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. So we've lost the table We're doing this on the floor, unfortunately. Sorry. Uh, LG soundbar, AI ThinQ with Meridian. I, I think that's a sort of a, a sound thing. I really don't know. Uh, it's Dol got Dolby Atmos. It's 520 watts. What I do, I take it out of the box and I try and put it on the box. So then you can see because it's a bit of a lump and I haven't got the wide angle space to do this. So begin opening this up and we'll see what we get in the box. Right. Okay, so we got the first bag of bits and pieces. So we have got the batteries for the remote control. I can't feel the remote control in there, but there is this instructions and I really don't know what else. Okay. Right. What's it there? So box of goodies. And we have, oh, it's taped on. Getting started, so it's a quick start. Uh, set up for I'll plug in blah 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 install google home blah 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 so there you go there is that okay and another bag so this has all the remote control in and the power pack i'll try and open them up later if i remember we can have a look what's in there because it's sort of a it's like a double power pack in there so not quite sure what that's, oh it's brackets, right okay, so that's, that's that, I'm guessing that's the wall mounts, if you want to mount it on the wall, which I will not be doing, because I've heard that that is the worst way you can uh, set these up, I right, will get that piece off first, pop it over there, and there is the sound bar first by the looks of it, plug is in its own, it's quite well wrapped up I must say, Quite well wrapped up, so same bar, not as thick as I thought it was going to be, but that's fine. I want it too thick, Ooh, it's got a bit of weight on it, right? So I'm just going to pop that off to the side. Once I put everything out of the box, I will put everything on top of the box. So the only thing that should be left in here is the subwoofer. So that's quite a bit of packaging because you've got two great big bits of uh, polystyrene here either side of the subwoofer. Hang on, let me grab the other one out and it really smells of styrene. Really, really not good substance for you. So you've got two of them either side of this. So I'm not going to be able to get this out. Let's leave one out just so I can get this out. And then we have the subwoofer. Right, let's get my knife. plastic but it's got a very good fake metal effect on it which is I don't know if you can see that on the camera if I can get it to reflect 
but it does look quite effective. Front of it, yeah, it's very tidy, nice looking soundbar. So, walkway, the plug's getting in the way. Let's pop that there. Hopefully you can still see that, I'm sure we can. We'll get onto the soundbar. Not the soundbar, the sub, sorry. That was a bit dumbass. Right. It's quite a heavy sub. Same finish as the soundbar. Nice, actually, that's a really nice, that's a really nice sub. So we have got fabric all the way on three sides. So let's see which side the sub is. It's not in that side. Oh, it's not in that side either. It's actually on the face. So it's a front firing sub with a rear port. So I'm not sure if that's to go to the front of the room or the back of the room. The normal way you'd set up a sub, in a 5.1 Dolby Digital setup, you would put the subs at the back. That's what I would put them, because they just sound a lot better. Right, let's get on to these bags, the bits and pieces. Sorry, it's quite hot in here, so it's going a bit red. Right, that is the power supply for the sub. We have the general remote LG remote control. Let's get him out of the bag, have a proper look at him. Similar sort of thing you get with every soundbar, but this one is a little bit bigger. Normally they're quite small, but it's not a bad little uh, remote control. So let's pop that up there. Uh, that's everything out of the bag, so we can lose the bag. Pop them over there, all the rest of the rubbish. And I believe these will be the stands or mounts for mounting to the wall, which I'm not going to do, but I'm going to open them up anyway. Let's get them a bit of polystyrene up of there, so you, can have, so you can have a look at these. I'm not quite sure how they're meant to work, I always think I can do it. Right. So, I would say, I wouldn't say that they would go that way, I would say they would sit like that. Not really much under there, but we'll tell you how to mount it. Right, okay. Yeah, there is. Right, it goes like that, but I'm guessing that is the bottom bit. 